the new VAT penalty system. In this video I want to look at the new VAT penalty system which started on the 1st of January 2023. I'll look at what the fines are if you don't comply and how to make sure that you can avoid those fines. I also want to have a little look at how it particularly affects small businesses and how it is actually particularly targeted at small businesses. I do regular updates on tax and accounting issues, so if you'd like to be kept up to date, please subscribe to the channel, and if you press the like button, it helps me and the channel. So HMRC have introduced a new VAT penalty system. Now, let's just uh, cast aside the, the fact that the HMRC is actually operating at the worst it has ever done in uh, my professional career. Get, sometimes getting a letter back from them takes a year and the whole thing is sort of ground to a halt. Although I would accept that an awful lot of competence within the HMRC and there are a lot of good people doing good work. Overall, it really is um, quite difficult to deal with at the moment. So within that context, they're tightening the rules for us so that, to make sure that we comply. I obviously don't think that's particularly fair, but, uh, but fairness is not what this is about. This is about the rules. So let's learn about the rules. So the new system is, penal is a penalty points based system and the points mean prizes, prizes for the revenue in terms of fines. So that's, that's how it works. But you do actually have to be really quite non-compliant in order to get these fines. So let's have a look. Now, there's a different amount of points and, and, and non-compliance if you do monthly returns or quarter returns like most people do, or annual returns. Now I'm going to tr concentrate on the quarterly returns, because to be honest, people who do monthly returns are normally getting VAT refunds at small business level, so they're getting refunds, so actually they're pretty compliant because they're very keen to get their tax back. Um, don't normally deal with a lot of annual ones, so they're, they're, they're quite unusual, um, and the actual non-compliance level is like four returns. Well, obviously it's not four annual returns, It's it's uh, more like two annual returns. Um, that's still two years of non-compliance, quite a lot. But I'm going to concentrate on the quarterly returns uh, because that's what most people do. The other thing that's worth mentioning is that this uh, system, the old systems were like a percentage of the tax you paid, but this system applies to when you've got a refund or if you've got nothing to pay. So if you start your business, you VAT register, and then you don't actually have any VATable sales, so you've got a nil return, this penalty system still kicks in. Um, and I think that could catch a few people out, particularly if you've got no trade, then some of the fines will be quite big as a, well as a proportion of that, obviously very big indeed. So what is the system? So there's two halves to the system. So there's penalties if you don't submit, and there's penalties if you don't pay. So let's deal with those separately. So non-submission. So there's £200 fines if you don't submit. But it's not the first time that you don't submit. So on a quarter, quarter returns, you've basically got a two-year window. And within that two-year window, if you have three non-submissions on time, which is almost half of them, because four a year. So the fourth one, you get a 200 pound fine. So each one you get a penalty, each one you get a penalty point, one you get your fourth penalty point for late submission, you get a 200 pound fine. So, th and that's how, and you can see how those can ratchet up if you're just, uh, if, if they're being sent to the wrong address or you're just uh, ignoring your brown envelopes. So nothing happens for two years effectively, which is why although it's, it's been in place for a little while, it's not been talked about. Um, it will be talked about once, once we get it into fines being paid. So you get a penalty point. The penalty points disappear after a couple of years, after two years. Um, although the legislation is written slightly more precisely than that. So after two years, um, the, the, your penalty point for that late submission disappears. But then if you get to four, then you get into penalties. And then you're in the penalty system. When you're in the penalty system, then things change. You get fines then every time you don't comply until you're out of the penalty system. And to get out of the penalty system, what you have to do is get everything, all the old stuff up to date, and then you need to have a year of compliance, four returns that are all nice and complied and done on time. 
I mean, that's what most people do. It does need doing. And, and the, the problem with uh, VAT penalties is if you, if you do three and then fail on the last one, then you, it's like you, you go back to the beginning again. So you do have to make sure that you are compliant. Um, and of course, these £200 fines, the reason it's slightly regressive is that they, you know, if your VAT return is nil, it's £200. If your VAT return is a payment of a million pounds, it's £200. So it affects small businesses much more greater than it affects large businesses. Um, but I suspect most of the non-compliance on this goes on in small business because I would expect that large businesses do actually submit their VAT returns on time. So, and I think that's why it's targeted in that way. So that's the system for just not submitting your tax returns. And I do see that it could be a real problem for people who've, who've sort of set their company up, reg unthinkingly registered for VAT, didn't really register that, realize they're registered for VAT, and then didn't submit tax returns, then they could ra ratchet up huge returns. So just be really careful with that. If you don't pay your tax on time, so you need to tell the revenue if you're not going to be able to pay your tax on time uh, because the, there's a penalty system if you don't pay it on time. So if you have 15 days out, you get a 2% surcharge and another in a month out, you get another 2% surcharge and then you're paying 4% interest. But those 2% and 2%, if you're doing that and not submitting your tax return, you can see that the, the fines are getting quite, quite a lot of money. But those 2% penalties only kick in if you haven't told the revenue and got a time to pay agreed with them. So just get a time to pay agreed with them. And, and they, are, they are bringing this slowly in over, over the next year. So, so, so just, just start to comply with that one. I think that would really help you. There is also an equity thing here. So the 4%, so we pay the revenue 4%. Um, if they're not, if they don't, if they don't pay us a refund, they pay us base rate less 1%, which probably actually just at the moment is not too much difference, um, to a minimum of a half a percent. So they pay us less than we pay them. Why well, it's not equivalent, I, I, I don't know, but I, I think that it's the case that it never has been. So that's the new penalty system. Um, 200 pound fines for not submitting, it if you're for serial offenders who are not submitting their VAT returns. So you know what you need to do, just submit it. and surcharges as soon as you start to not pay your tax so you need to pay your tax or tell them and agree a payment plan with them so that's the new penalty system i hope you've enjoyed it i'll keep you up to date with tax and accounting issues so if you want to be kept up to date please press the subscribe button and uh, pressing the like button helps me in the channel so thank you